What you're about to experience are my opinions and truths. I'm suggesting their possibilities for you to consider, in which you can then come up with your own logical conclusions. Welcome out, everyone, all you great decoders around the world, wherever you are. My name is Logan, and this is Decode Your Reality. And today we're going to be breaking down and decoding the computer. The computer decoded. And maybe you're on one of those right now. And if you're on a cell phone, it's just a mini computer does the same kind of things that the laptop or desktop does. And this machine has revolutionized our reality. Obviously, it has its share in bringing the world down to its knees when it comes to changing this reality from natural to artificial. And I'm going to talk all about this during this decode. And ladies and gentlemen, this one once again is going to give you some truth bombs. So those of you that have been paying attention to the decodes I've been coming out with and many other great decoders, this one is just going to light up your life with the amount of information I'm about to bring to you. So let's get started on this. So I wanted to just do a little bit of the intro and then I'm going to get into the topics. And we're going to get into this. This, Folks, this one's going to blow your mind. This, Oh my God, it blew me away decoding this. So, you know, it's all about this artificial. Starting with numerology, the science of numbers. We get this word artificial, giving us the number 25, tied to the number seven when we reduce it down, which is going to link to Saturn. And Saturn is tied into this presentation. But artificial really means man-made. But as I will continue to show, especially during this decode, that mankind is being used. They are not writing the script. They are simply fulfilling the blueprint. And the artificial word we use is just a so below of the as above. There is no separation of that. And I'm going to support that throughout this decode. So this artificial word is used to describe made by man, but mankind is being used. And this number 25 leads to some big words on the world stage in your bottom left and right hand corners, the word adversary. Of course, because the computer has been made to be the adversary of man. Obviously, the artificial intelligence, there are people that believe that some kind of quantum computers running the world. And then you have on the left, you have the bottom left, the black sun. And you know, folks, you are the black sun because, or part of that, because if you go look in the mirror right now, I can encourage you to do that. You're going to see two black suns that are right inside your eyes. They're called pupils. And that's what absorbs the light. And that's why I have continued to say, we are little devils down here. Just be the best little devil you can be. And that's it. Just have fun with this life because it's we can't take it so serious because it is completely scripted. So if we compare the art of word, the word artificial with its adversary itself, we get into the natural ways of life. And it the turnout of this gives us the clue of the entire reality of artificial and natural being run by the same origin. 
because it's that number 47 again, that pesty number 47 keeps showing up. And that means the tetragrammaton. And wherever else you want to attach that, Washington, D.C., White House, Georgetown, even 47 equals 47. It's a big time number. And it's tied to these two words that are opposing one another. And people separate them, and I don't think there's any separation. I just think it's a fractal down from nature itself. So when we really take these, these outcomes of artificial, which is a 25, and natural, which is a 22. And 22 is tied to titanium, 25 is tied to manganese. But I thought what was really interesting is the story of the serpent and the biting of the apple. And when the serpent sticks its tongue out of its mouth, it forms the shape of the letter Y, but it also forms the shape of the letter V. You can see it clearly there. It's a V and a Y. And what's absolutely fascinating and mind-blowing to me when I found this was that the letter V and the letter Y make up the words natural and artificial. It's the Y and the V in the English. And if you want to go even further than that, you can take the only two elements on the periodic table that have the abbreviation of the Y and the V. It's yttrium and vanadium. Yttrium and vanadium. And you get that 88, which is tied to Saturn. Kronos, the timekeeper, which represents artificial, represents the black sun. And then you get into that perhaps word that was found from the word Saturn, which is Satan, which just is going to have pi in it. Satan is 3.1415, which is pi. So there are massive clues just with this right here and the computer decoded. And I have so much more to show all of you folks. Wait till you see what I have. But really, it's all about this. I feel personally, my truth is it's all about this. As above, so you know the axiom, as above, so below. What happens above dictates what happens below. And it's the number 58. And how many times have all of you, besides myself, been showing how big this 58 is? And it's tied to this word right here called puppet master. And are we just puppets on strings? I mean, you know, I feel like I'm supposed to be showing all of you this, not to brag or I'm not looking for trophy. This is my birth card, okay, ladies and gentlemen? This is the comedy in my life. This is what I was born with. The Trapped and Limited card. This is the Eight of Swords, aka the Eight of Spades, which is linked to my February 4th birthday. And when you bring alchemy into this, representing the puppet master running mankind running the as above and the so below you get into this element called cerium which is the god of agriculture which you know he controls food and it is the element that has the containment of pi in it it has an isotope of 141 which you know again my last name is payette and i have been given this as my birth card and it's the trapped and limited card I mean, what is this telling you personally? Because all that matters is what you believe anyway. I'm just the tour guide here. It all comes down to what you believe. That's it. And we may be creating our own fractals. And whatever you believe in is going to manifest when you pass on and perhaps reincarnate back into this life, if that's what you believe. I don't even know because we don't know what goes beyond death. But we're talking about the computer decoded and, you know, mankind makes the computer. But are we living in a computer simulation? I think so. Without a shadow of a doubt, all the research that I've been doing, which I haven't shown a lot of you decoders, the stuff that I've been doing in the background, because I just have so many decodes that I have in the works, but this simulation I have coming out, simulation decoded, but look at what the words computer simulation link to. Not just using the Chaldean, but using the English as well. When we follow the string of the English being found from the 244, it leads to this element plutonium, which is Shiva, the destroyer of worlds. And when you bring this 94 into the string of pi, look at where it's found. At the 58th decimal digit, going right back to the puppet master and as above, so below. So our so below is just gonna be the computer. 
That's our soul below. That's the fractal below mankind. And the as above is going to be whatever created this reality. But then it just goes up or down. It's a sliding scale. That's all it is. And we're living inside of a simulation. Looks pretty, looks and feels pretty real. But the plutonium is a huge deal with this. And I mean, how are we to describe what I'm showing you here, right? And this 58, of course, puppet mass, just follow the trail. It goes to this element right here. As I've been showing, this is not something new that I've been showing. I've been showing the connections of alchemy into the string of pi, the golden ratio tied into the, the numerology, the science of numbers. It's nickel, old Saint Nick, the devil's copper. And then it goes, you just follow the trail. 28 protons with nickel tied to Pluto, tied to plutonium. I mean, it's pretty crystal clear. And then Lucifer's the 28. And then 28 is 35. And then the word simulation is 35. The word sunglasses is 35. Tied to the sun. Starting with that letter S, serpent, sun, simulation. That letter S, which is the sine wave. And then, you know, we go to Chaldean, it's the 74, the mighty 74, which is the mirror of the 47. And we get into this element tungsten, which is feed the wolf. You used to make light bulbs. And then you're going to get it in the English. Jesus is there as well. It's the 74. Is Jesus and Lucifer the same character? I think it's the two brothers, Cain and Abel, yin and yang, frick and frack, heckle and jekyll, Thomas and Jesus. Just, just goes on and on. And it's the makeup of our ego and our spirit stuck inside this simulation. However that looks, computer decoded. So let's get into the actual breakdown of the word computer, and then I'm going to get into the topics. This is just the intro. <laughs> but the word computer is a three-syllable word. I used to break down my decoding with breaking the syllables down, and you can get another layer. This is how it rolls off your tongue, computer. So it's a 14, 14, 11, or a 5, 5, 2. And you can combine those numbers together and get them into math. And, but it's a total of 39. And 39 is Lucifer, because the word Lucifer in the original Aramaic is 39. And folks, it's all littered all over this computer decoded. Wait till you see the sinks I have. And when you bring in the number 71 into the string of pi, look at where it appears. At the 39th decimal digit, 39 and 40. And if you take out your calculator, simple math, 39 plus 40 gives you what number? 79, which is gold, which is what we're being harvested for. Computer, artificial, natural, it's all part of the simulation. And it's, you know, the 71 is lutetium. There's the Lucifer or Lucy. It's just all that. It's the sun coming down and becoming man, and then man creating the computer, and then it's a fractal down below that. What's next? When we go into the quantum world, if that's where we're going. So that was like my little intro. <laughs> if that didn't blow you away. Folks, this, this, oh man, this decode. Woo! So the time you invest, get, 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 get settled in, folks. This one is a gem. I'm pretty stoked to show it to you. I'm pretty stoked. So, you know, the zero we just did. Number one, we're going to get into the founder of the computer himself. It's Alan Turing. And they made a movie off of this. Starring Doctor Strange. <laughs> Benedict Cumberbatch. And then number two, we're going to get into the actual first commercialized computer, the EN. IAC, and I'm going to break those words down for you. This is the abbreviation. This is how they do it. And then this is really simple. Three, th two, two topics. And then what did you see? Love to hear your comments. Keep them coming. But I can assure you this computer decoded is going to blow your mind. So let's get started. Let's get into the first topic. Just got two topics. <laughs> A lot of information though. But here's the dude who started it all. Alan Turing, Alan Turing. And when you just do his straight up numerology, we get into Greek mythology. Alan Matheson Turing is a 61. I'm gonna show you his alchemology as well, but 
That 61 goes right into, we're gonna come back, check that against the element on the periodic table. Remember, those of you that are new, we take numerology, we bring it into alchemy because we're made up of these elements, many of them, and they're big truth bombs. Prometheum, they made a movie, Prometheus. There's the Greek mythology of the Titan. The Titan who stole fire from the gods and gave it to the humans. And not only that, but it, he, this, this god cre created mankind out of clay. Him and his brother, Epimetheus. I showed this in my pineal gland decoded. So think about what I'm showing you here. The founder of the computer alan matheson turing his numerology is a 61 matching the element prometheum and prometheum is known as the titan who stole fire which is wisdom and knowledge and gave it to the humans and this guy is the guy who created the first computer think about what i'm showing you here this it, this is huge for the decoding world right here tying it into greek mythology and you know, remember, I mean, his punishment was he, his liver, live, his liver was eaten every day and repaired back and tied to that rock, the live liver. It's just interesting. So I decided to take Alan Matheson, Turing, and Prometheus, the original spelling of Prometheus in the Greek, and bring them together because they, they're a match. And look at what we come out with. Oh, just wait till I show you more of this one. Whew. So they end up becoming 61 and 129. Prometheus is 129. This is going to have a different outcome if you reduce the Greek down and use it from the original formats. But number, num nonetheless, the numbers are going to encroach, give us different meanings. They both have merit. And there's the 61. We add them up. Look at what it gives us. The Wizard of Oz. The Wizard of Oz. And I know I have a decode on the Wizard of Oz and how it's part of the operating system part of the sun and the phoenix if you haven't checked this one out check it out but there it is it's the wizard of osmium and 61 plus 129 is going to give you 190 190 19 is the battery 19 is tied to the sun but i'm going to show you more on this one let's keep going so as I showed in the wizard of oz it's the operating system the wizard of oz with the operating system and this number 56 tied to op I mean, computers have operating systems. Cell phones have operating systems. Why wouldn't our reality have an operating system? Of course it does. And so this number 56, when you bring it into the string of the golden ratio, more pure mathematics now to fact check it against the numbering system of numerology, the science of numbers. You're going to get the numbers 30 and 31. Simple math. What is 30 and 31? 61. So think about what I'm showing you here, ladies and gentlemen, all you great decoders. This dude not only is tied to Prometheum, but he's tied to the operating system through the string of the golden ratio and the wizard of Osmium. This dude was being used to create the first computer. That's what this guy's job was. Probably had a great life doing it, but that's what his job was, being used. So is it just the architect? Architects coming down and just coming in and incarnating in our, to our avatars and just having fun down this and experience? I would think that's how it works. Let's keep going. What about his birthday? He was born on June 23rd. 23 is tied to the word pineal gland. If you go to my pineal, here it is. Pineal is 23. Please check out this decode. The pineal, 23. This guy's born on the 23rd. And look at what day of the year it is. 174, 175 in the common year. And what is 174? It's Lutetium, AKA Lucy. Lucy was all about computers, connecting with the world and using 100% of the mind or the brain. That's what the whole internet's based off of, bringing all the minds together online, opinions, stories, bringing it all together and doing like they did with Charles Xavier and the X-Men and Cerebro and just creating the masterpiece. But look at the sinks on this. I got more. Let me just keep going. So let's get into his card of illumination. You know, I'm going to fact check it against these cards. 
This card right here is the June 23rd card. It's the seven clubs card. It's the 20th card in the deck. And those of you that have been paying attention, 71 is the 20th prime number. And there it is. And what is 20? It's tied to the words birthday. It's tied to the word duality. And the 20th element is calcium, which makes up our bones. 99% of calcium in our body is tied to the bones and teeth, making up our skeleton stru structure. This is all part of the source code here, ladies and gentlemen, all you great decoders. What about his death day? He died on June 7th. Here's the June 7th card. The 10 diamonds card, which is card 36. Card 36 was when he died. When you bring those two together, what is 30 plus 20? 36 plus 20? 56, which is going to give you the words operating system. So think about what I'm showing all of you here. And then what are we, do, where do we go from here? Are we just going to say that man is actually consciously doing this? Ladies and gentlemen, that's ludicrous thinking. And again, that's my opinion. But what I'm he showing you here is support. Support. And it's not just the 56 here, but again, operating is 36 system is 20. He's got the operating card on his death day. He has the birth card uh, matching up with the word system. He's got operating system for the two days of his freaking birth. Where do we go from here to describe this thinking that man is running any kind of code at all? This is so comical. <laughs> it's just comical. Let's keep going. So there's that 36 and 20. So I found this article, how Alan Turing found machine thinking in the human mind. And again, they made a movie out of this. Check it out if you haven't seen it. Starring Dr. Strange, Benedict Cumberbatch. Great movie. So I decided to break this down a little bit. So now we'd have to bring in Jonathan Keats into the conspiracy. Those of you that think a man is, is running the show, now Jonathan Keats would have to be you know, uh, involved in this. Because, you know, he's bringing all this information in here. And, you know, the June 29th, I mean, when this article came out, we can decode that as well. What day of the year that June 29th is. You now we just keep going and going and going. But June 29th is the, uh, the 14th card in the deck, which is the Ace Clubs, which is tied to Pi 3.14. It's just all here in the source code, folks. All of it. So let's break this down. So this was a snippet of this, the title of Turing's paper that he wrote. It was in parentheses on computable numbers with an application to this long word, you know, uh, in, in German, I would imagine, which means decision problem. And so I decided to break this down and look at how many letters it is subtly, 61. What, what is 61 again? It's his birth name, Alan Matheson Turing. So the guy writes a damn paper on the computer <coughs> and it's 61 letters long. I mean, I mean, is he sitting down with numerology knowing that his name is 61 in Chaldean and just kind of doing it this way, you know, to, to mock people? Or is this, there's just some intelligent form of whatever's running this reality, running it all. And just using mankind to get these outcomes. This is part of the source code written into the code. The total of it is 254. And when you bring it into the string of the golden ratio, 254 occupies three digits, 351, 352, and 353. Giving you a total of 1,056. Drop that zero. 911 is the 156 prime number. 156 prime number. But I decided to take the last digit here of the 254. And the 353 is that marker tied to this guy's paper name. And the 353, not just any number, the 71st prime number going right back to the Letitium, Lucifer, and the dude's birthday on June 23rd. So you can see how ridiculous this source code is, how comical this stuff is. 
just keeps going and going and it's just so beautifully mathematically precise because something wrote it beyond the scope of mankind and then just here's more i mean 71 is the 20th prime number and this is his birth card june 23rd is the seven clubs card the 20th card in the deck i mean here's the lineages of the cards here's the seven clubs card 20th card if you want these graphics by the way i got these i got the 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 uh, tarot cards, just send me an email, decodereality at gmail.com, and I'll send them to you. But look at these sinks, ladies and gentlemen, tied to the guy's paper he wrote, the title of it. I mean, it just keeps going. I'm going to keep showing this to you. So I decided to, you know, break down the word that was the big standout. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it, but it means decision problem, and it's the number 83 which is the 23rd prime number. Remember, decision problem. Just, you know, d deciding on the problem. And the 23 and the 83, where's the 23? Tied to the pineal gland. So the pineal gland is the implant, the, the switching station. That's why the Vatican has it inside the St. Peter's Square, the big pine cone. The pineal gland. So this is the implant in your brain. You cut your all-seeing eye open on your brain, you're going to get the Egyptian all-seeing eye there tied to the pineal gland. And how about the number 83? What about that? Well, it's tied to the prison planet. If you haven't seen my prison planet decoded, I showed how bismuth is tied to the I am and how it's tied to our reality as a whole, the Trinity, and all this broke down with this 208 tied to bismuth. And it's tied to the computer, the so below, right here. It's just all right there. So let's get into the second topic now, the last topic, the E-N-I-A-C machine. And I just wanna go to that, here it is. And I'm gonna leave these links in the description of this video so you could just click on them if you want to go read about this it's called the electronic numerical integrator and computer so it's the eniac and it was the first programmable electronic general purpose digital computer made in 1945 and what's interesting is 1945 is the same year where they found the the nag hammadi that's the nag hammadi library the gospel of thomas which was Jesus's twin brother, 1945. That's when they discovered it. And then the two years after, 46 and 47, they found in the Quran Caves, the Dead Sea Scrolls. Of course, they come next. So there's no separation. They're all the same. They're all part of the same source code. Just they separate it, different wardrobes. But I'm going to break all this stuff down. And it was, you know, it says it was a Turing complete able to solve a large class of numerical problems through reprogramming. So this is the first computer, commercial one. And I'm going to break it all down for you right now. This one is going to blow your mind. But if you're not blown away already, here's more mankind being you. So here are the two dudes. Here are the two gentlemen that designed this computer. John McCauley and John Presper Eckhart. Here are the two guys right here. I'm going to... Oh, God. Talk about being used. And their names, through numerology, their full birth names, John William and John Adam. See, they both started with the letter, the, the word John. They're both 18s. And what is 18 plus 18? 36. What is 36? The operating system. You go right back to the Wizard of Oz. There it is. It's operating 36 and Turing had that as well so these two guys the john and john 18 plus 18 is going to give you the number 36 some subtleties but when you take all the letters of their birth names and you add them up you get the number 145 145 is tied to promethium again it's the average weight of promethium let me just show all of you that you go to the Royal Society of Chemistry and we go to Promethium and you're going to notice that the average atomic weight of Promethium is 145. So how about that? 145 is tied to these two guys' names in numerology. Not just Alan Turing. Not just Alan Turing in his 61 tied to Promethium. At the very beginning of this, right there, 
Because Promethium has several atomic weights. Not only this guy, who was the guy who made the first computer, but now it's these two guys with the 145. And what I thought was really interesting is here's the Greek word for mercury. Hydrogyros. Hydrogyros is the Greek word for mercury. Mercury is the planet of communication. And it's tied to these guys' names. Just as, you know, just as another offset of this, but right tied to Prometheum again with these guys. The operating system, just more of the comedy continues to go on and on. So let's keep going. How about their birthdays? John Adam Presper Eckhart Jr. and John William McCauley. And they are born April 9th and August 30th. And when you take nine and you get the 30 and you bring them together, you're going to get the number what? 39. And 39 is tied to the original spelling of the Aramaic or Hebrew spelling of the word Lucifer. So Lucifer in the original is 39. It's going to be 75, 39, and 12. They're all going to reduce down to the number three. Three is pi, 3.14. Three is the trinity. Three is magnetism, electricity, and dielectricity. So you can break it down so many different ways. But it's, it leads to Lucifer, the light bringer, coming down to become man. And it's the, you know, making the artificial intelligence because we're all the devils. These guys, we're all the devils, folks. That's what this is telling all of us. And this 39 is tied to these two elements right here. I showed the yttrium earlier. Yttrium's got 39 protons. Potassium has 39 protons. You can even bring the moon in here because argon has a, 30, a weight of 39 as well. I shouldn't say 39 protons, but a weight of 39. It's got 19 protons. But how about that? It's, it's just all right there leading to the Y and the 25, which is the word adversary and black sun and artificial. The word artificial is going to give you the 25 and the letter y is 25 and the serpent's all about biting the apple and good and bad knowing the knowledge the wisdom so how about here's more of the comedy of the code here's the april 9th and the august 30th the day of the year they were born 99th day of the year these are common years now 99 plus 242 <laughs> we're going to the trusty calculator look at what number we get it's a permutation of pi. It's a permutation of pi. And I just went ahead and I said, the 39 is going to reduce down to the three. Three plus nine is 12. One plus two is three. It's going to lead to that three and the 33. It's all there. And it's pi, 3.14. It's a permutation of that. These two guys' birthdays on the calendar. How, how, what do we, how would I describe this right here? <laughs> Where do we go with this information? Well, that's man's being used. That's where we go with it. That's where I stand with this research. And how about the days on the calendar between these two guys' births? Not the years, because they were born different years, just the days. Well, oh, it's just 144 days. If you count the, uh, you include it, it's going to be 145 matching their names. 144 going right back once again to Prometheum, the Titan who stole fire and gave it to the humans, who stole wisdom, the serpent who stole the wisdom, all talking about biting the apple, the good and bad, the knowledge, the tree of knowledge. It's all here, folks. All the story is in the script and it's just fragmented, different layers of the script. It's just so hilarious. Let's get into the development and design of this computer and the construction. Now this, if you read it, the design and construction was financed by the United States Army and it was led by this guy right here, General Gladian M. Barnes. <laughs> Wait to see this guy, Sam. More being used. Gladian M. Barnes, Major Gladian, Major General, excuse me, Gladian M. Barnes. Notice he was born on the 15th and he died on the 15th. 15 plus 15 is 30. 30 is Demiurge. 30 is tied to the weight of phosphorus. Phosphorus is the 15th element. The light bringer, more Lucifer reference right there. How about his day of birth, June 15th? It's the 166th day of the year. So is there any separation? of the yod heh vah -Heh and Lucifer. Because the, you're seeing it right there. You're seeing it right there. Demiurge equals 30. It's right there, 15 plus 15. Jehovah, the new age name is 30. 
It's all right there, ladies and gentlemen, all of it. And I don't think there's any separation between the two. Here is, uh, you know, the, the, the card that's associated with this guy's birthday. Look at what I'm showing you here. Gladian M. Barnes, Major General Gladian M. Barnes, the one that led the financing and construction of the first commercial computer. He's got the 28th card in the deck on June 15th. And what is 28? It's the architect Lucifer. I mean, look at how ridiculous this code is. What do you think was running this guy? You think his life was his own? What about the birth city? What about his birth city? Born in Vermontville, Michigan. I could have went gangbusters just on this right here. But he was born in Vermontville, Michigan. And now we're going to get into Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, which is all about the supercomputer running this reality. And look at the coordinates of Vermontville, where Gladian M. Barnes was born. 42 degrees north. What was the number that was the supercomputer said? Life in the universe and everything? 42. A supercomputer tells you from a different show, telling you from the BBC, from a book, Douglas Adams. Douglas Adams, the Adam. It's just all in the script. It's the 42. It's the 42 right here with this guy's birth city. He didn't get to pick where he was born. And if, if any of you think that he, they're putting this down to match up with this, I, I, I think you need to really reevaluate your thinking. I really do. And again, these are my opinions and truths. I'm not saying that this is going to be your truth. But folks, what I'm showing you here to me is the source code playing out and it is all connected. There is no separation and there is something to do with the computer and the simulation. What about when you take his latitude, longitude, and you add them up? You're going to get the number 127, which is the 31st prime number. What is pi? 3.14. It's just all right there tied together. It's all right there. I mean, he died at the age of 74, which is Wolfram, Tungsten. I mean, it's just all right here in the source code, and it just keeps going and going. And here's the tie-in to Alan Matheson Turing and his alchemology. Alchemology is when you take numerology, and then you blend it with alchemy. So you take the letters that we get from, the numbers that we get from the letters. Alan is a 1315, and then we bring in the elements to match that. And then we add them all up using the trusty calculator. Look at what number you get. 127.166. Not only does he have a match to this dude's latitude, longitude, but he's got a match of the 166 to this guy's birthday, June 15th. I mean, do you see the source code? It's all right here, ladies and gentlemen. And I get excited about this stuff. This is how I present my information because I get excited about it because I think it's hilarious. And it's obviously right there staring us all in the face. It's all right here staring us in the face. So what about the 31? So going right back again, here's the latitude, longitude. And you should be show, looking at your latitude, longitude as well, where you were born, figuring out where you fit on the, inside the script. So his 127 is going to lead to that 31. What's the number 31? It's a big deal number in the string of the golden ratio. It lands at the 137. 137 is the 33rd prime number. 131 inside the string of the digits of pi. 137. This is an anomaly, by the way. 31 landing at the same decimal digit in both the golden ratio and the string of pi. What is that telling you? This is a big deal landing spot for these numbers, 137 and 138. And if you watch the, uh, the last podcast I did with Santos in the Syncretism Society talking to Jason over at Archaics, he was saying how big the number 138 was and how it was tied to the Great Pyramid of Giza. And that 138 is tied to the element Lanthanum, which means to lie hidden. Just there's so many sinks to this. And it's tied to this guy's birth who financed and was the lead person for the orchestration of this machine right here. This is the guy that led it up. You see the sinks? It's just, it keeps going, folks. His name is a 65. Tied to the element zinc. Zinc is the 30th element. 30 is tied to the rabbit card, tied to Alice. 65 in the string of pi. Occupies digits 7 and 8. 
And when you add them all up right here, you get the number 33, all these digits. This is another way you can do advanced decoding. Find your spots in, in the string of pi and then add all the digits up. And you're going to get more truth bombs. It's, you can't miss this right here. It's all right there. And if you just add on the three, because this is not adding the three, but if you take the three point and you add it to the 33, you're going to get 36. And what is 36? We go right back to the operating system. So this guy was linked to the operating system. That's why he was in control or he was the, led the research of the first commercial computer. Make no mistake about it. And 65 is tied to zinc and, you know, the, the number 30. It's just all right there, ladies and gentlemen. In the string of the golden ratio, tied to this guy's his name, you get the 29 and 30. And when you add up all the digits, you're going to get the golden ratio. Th think about what I'm showing you here. This guy was being used, not only in the string of pi, and the 33 slash 36, but the 161 through the string of the golden ratio. Thir 29 and 30 is going to give you 59. The game of life is going to equal 59. Contract with time equals the number 59. Contract with God is going to equal the number 59. 59 is tied to down in a hole, coming down and becoming man. And here's that tie into the zinc and the demiurge and Alice and the story of Alice in Wonderland. And then man shrinking down. That's what Alice was doing, shrinking down to follow the rabbit, rabbit indicating time. And there's the bridge, zinc, tied to this guy's birth name. And there's the 65 and the 30 protons is a match to the rabbit card. How valuable these have been. The 52 cards of the medicine deck using animals, insects, reptiles, birds, etc. And this is such a very fitting story. And I mean, there's the tie. And you, this is undeniable. And what is the whole story of Alice? It's, it's spirit becoming matter, coming down to play the game being typed into the source code. And now we're doing that. Mankind is taking all this information and moving it into the computer. And it's a fractal down below man and we're going quantum. That's what this is alluding to right here. And this story is just absolutely comical tied to this guy who led the development of this computer. Here's more of the, this is so funny. I forgot about this one. So here's the first commercial computer and where the location is of it. <laughs> it's in the great city of Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love, the home of Rocky and the eye of the tiger, the eye of the tiger song that you just keep going with these, the song of Rocky, eye of the tiger. And it's, look at the coordinates of Philadelphia, 39 degrees north, 75 degrees west. Here's the original, not, not Lucifer. That's English. The conversion of it in the Latinized. It's the original from the Old Testament. He, uh, Isaiah 14 verses 12. And it's Lucifer in the Hebrew slash Aramaic. It's, you know, this is the full. It's not reducing it down the 5, 10, 30, 30. And then when you reduce it down, it becomes the 5, 10, 12, 12. So it's the 75 and 39. And this right here is the latitude, longitude of where this first computer is housed right here. More Lucifer reference. I mean, I don't know what else to say right here on this is just absolutely comical. It's, it's just comical. And remember, 1945 is the year the Gospel of Thomas was found, the Nag Hammadi libraries. The Gospel of Thomas is Lucifer, folks. It's just all right there. So the the very the very last tail end of this presentation, here is the electronic numerical integrator and computer. The first commercialized computer is going to give you a total of 151. And 151 is the 36th prime number tied to the word operating. Think about what I'm showing you. And, you know, 666 is the 36th triangular number, the triangle, the triangular number, which is right here, the 36th triangular number tied to the 666. Folks, it's all in here. It's all in here, all in that triangle. And the operating system is tied to the Wizard of Oz, which is right here. 
tied to Krypton and Kryptos, tied to the osmium element, and how Prometheus and Alan Turing are making up the osmium element. This guy was being used. It's just all right here, folks. I mean, this is massive here. And how Alan Turing makes up the operating system with his birthday and his name found in the string of the golden ratio being that 56 and then his birth cards being the 30 and tw the 36 and 20 his death to birth cards are the 56 tied to that operating system folks the guy who originally started the computer and then the guys who created the first computer is tied to the number five and remember lights camera action telling you we're in a simulation a computer simulation this reality is a joke. It's supposed. It's just hilarious when you start to see this code. It's all source code playing out. And you, you saw I'm primarily just using the Chaldean again. Don't even need to deviate away from that. Tied into the prime numbers, tied into the golden ratio, tied into pi. I mean, here's the primes. You know, just to show you more extensions of the source code. You don't like Chaldean. Some of you don't. Some of you don't use it. I don't know why. But anyway, you go into the primes. The primes are a huge one because it deals with prime numbers. They, I mean, there's the 36 prime number right there tied to the 151, tied to this computer, tied to the operating system. Well, the primes is going to give you pi. <laughs> you don't like the Chaldean? Well, there it is. Bam, right in your face. It's pi. Telling you we're making up pi. We're in pi. And the golden ratio tied together. If you don't like that, how about the full reduction? The Pythagorean. It's going to give you gold. 196. I mean, the word computer's 39 in the full reduction. There's Lucifer again. So if you don't like the Chaldean, you're going to find... I'll find it another one, folks. This is all the source code. This ain't controlled by man. Man is simply being used. Sure, you can become aware of it, but you ain't in control of it. You're just being used to do your script. And... You know, the central processing unit, the CPU, the 386, which is the gold, which I think is the pineal gland, and it's led to gold. And, you know, we're just a computer. That's all we are. What about the English? So I showed the Chaldean tied to the operating system and the 666. I showed the prime showing pi right there. I showed the full reduction to gold, led to gold. That's what the computer, and we're a computer. We live inside of a computer. It's a battery. The central processing unit tied to gold. What about the English? Four different ciphers now showing you the source code. It's 457. What's 457? The 88th prime number. The 88th prime number. We go right back to Lucifer again. There's the 88 and the 39. And we can't leave out the element radium because it's tied to Saturn. And we look at this right here. If you haven't seen this decode, this is my, this is done a few years ago, three years ago, 19, 2019. 20. Wow, it's been a while. I need to redo this. But Kronos in the Greek is an 88. So is Kronos just the old sun? Is that all it is? And it's and it's Father Time. And what's running time? Is it is this just the supercomputer running the entire script in this entire reality? I mean, look at what I'm showing you here. You got to be the judge on this. I'm just the tour guide showing you the information. But Lucifer's there, and Lucifer's tied to the devil, and Saturn is Satan tied to the devil, if you want to use those, you know, formality, or those words. But Ra's the sun god. I mean, was the sun god in Egypt, ancient Egypt times, was it Saturn running the golden age? A lot of people think so. I mean, Ra's the sun god, so is, is it Saturn? Was it once the god of the golden age? Is it going to switch places when we move back into the golden age? I don't know. You got to be the judge of that. But this is undeniable source code right here. This ain't man running it at all. I can tell you that. So to finish up on this, this last part of the presentation, what about the construction contract for this first computer? We talked about who financed, who led it up, Major General Gladian Barnes, but the construction contract, here it is, was signed on June 5th, 1943. And June 5th, is the 156th day of the year. 156, 157. 911 is the 156 uh, prime number. But if you take this common year and leap year, which I've shown so many times how valuable it is to do this, if you're going off of the calendar, ladies and gentlemen, if you can take the two dates, like I showed Pi, 
March 14th, Pi Day, 73rd and 74th day of the year. It's going to give you a total of 147. But this right here, June 5th, which is when the construction contract to build this machine was on the 156 slash 157 day of the year. You add them up, you get 313 right here. And it's the 65th prime number. And remember who has the 65? It's Gladian M. Barnes. His name is the number 65. And it's also tied to zinc. Here's Gladian M. Barnes, 65. And it's tied to the element zinc, which is the demiurge, because 30 is tied to the word demiurge. It's tied to the New Age name Jehovah. It's tied to the word Santa Claus coming down the chimney, which is representing mankind falling and become man. It's the architect coming down to play its game. It's all right there. It's all the source code tied out. And it comes down to really two more slides. I think I have two more slides or three more slides. You see, I have a decode coming out on this movie right here called The Manchurian Candidate. It's going to be tied into the Academy Awards, the Golden Globes, because it's all about actors and actresses down here. And the word actor and actress is going to give you the number 38, which is the tied to this card right here. And it's the Queen Diamonds card tied to the June 5th. So the contract that was signed to build this computer, a fractal of the as above, is tied to the card that runs, I feel, runs man, or a big part. It's the queen. We service the queen bee, the red queen. That's what this movie referenced. Red queen equals the number 33. And this is a big deal uh, truth bomb I'm showing you here. Wait till I come out with my decode on the Academy Awards, which is all about actors and actresses. And that's all we are. We're just being used to play out our part. We're living in a soap opera. We're living in the Truman Show. And we, we service the queen. And this was all about mankind being used and having an implant and, ha and doing the bidding of what that implant told them to do. And if you think that's just science fiction, well, I've, I, again, I have over 200 videos that show the same patterns that mankind is being used. That's it. So to finish this decode up, I think I have two slides left. Here it is. Here's the address. Here's the address of this place where the computer was being secretly built at the University of Pennsylvania. Here it is, the University of Pennsylvania's Moore School of Electrical Engineering, Electrical Elohim. And what I want you to notice is it's 200 South 33rd Street. What is the number 200 tied to? The fallen angel story. There are 200 fallen angels that are in that story. So there, and this is tied to Mercury now. Mercury is the planet of communication. You're communicating the information that is from the as above and you're bringing it into the soul below. So the fallen angel story is going to be in there, but it's also going to be tied to the planet Mercury because Mercury has an average weight of 200. Think about what I'm telling you here. The total is 166 when you spell out all the words. And it's going to lead you going back to the Tetragrammaton. Remember, Gladian M. Barnes, June, his birthday, is tied to that 166. So all these pieces of the source code are constantly playing out. This is the building right here. Here's, here's the sign, 33rd Street, 200 South 33rd Street. Here's the actual location of it right here. Here's the map. And what I want to show you is that it sits in between Walnut Street and 33rd Street. Walnut Street and South 33rd Street. So I decided to break those down, those two streets there. It sits right in, and it's, it's interesting. There's the V right there. It sits on the corner, the V. The V is the, the 22nd tied to the titanium and the fallen angel story. But nonetheless, it's going to give you the 108. And the element that has the 108 is the element silver. And silver is the most electrical element on the periodic table. It's the most electrical element on the periodic table. And this place that they secretly built this first commercial computer was the Department of Electrical and Systems Engineering. And folks, it's tied to the Titans, the Tetragrammaton. It's tied to the source code that runs this reality. And there is no separation on this stuff. 
This is a big deal. I mean, come on, the most electrical element on the periodic table, which houses the two streets, which house this department of electrical, and this is the Department of Electrical and System en Systems Engineering, the place where they secretly built it? On 33rd Street, 200 South 33rd Street? I mean, think about what I'm showing you here and the most electrical element. And that's what you need for a computer to run is electricity, the Elohim. Let us make man in our image, the Elohim, the L, the electricity, magnetism and electricity. So this is all telling us right here. This is all magnetism and electricity. And the computer was not built by man per se. I mean, they built it, but they were being used to build it. Our minds are not our own, folks. Our minds are not our own. So what did you see, folks? I'd love to hear your observations of what I showed during this presentation. So what do you got? What goods do you have? We'd love to hear your thoughts and observations on this decode. This was a lot of fun. This one to me was another gem for me. Anyway, it was a lot of truth bombs, just undeniable source code staring us in the face once again. But it was just a lot of fun. So anyway, folks, as I say, that's all I got for today. My name is Logan. This is Decode to Reality. I thank each and every one of you for your donations, your Patreons, your support, your love, your kindness. And those of you that are interested in readings, just send me an email, decodeyourreality at gmail.com, and I'll get back to you within a 24 to 48 hour period. So signing off for now, folks. Until next time, we will see you later.